a line perpendicular to the tangent so this line is also known as a normal now very important thing about semi circle theoretical probability is equal to number of favorable outcome upon total number of outcome hello dear students today we are discuss all maths 14 chapters formula in 15 minutes let we will start now next circle chapter okay in circle theorem 10.1 Radius is a perpendicular to the tangent. Okay. Radius is a perpendicular to the tangent. Now 10.2 theorem. 10.2 theorem. Sorry. In 10.2 theorem, in external point, from the external points, yes. P, if you do two tangent, they both are equal in length. P equals to PB. Okay. Now, if any line touches at a circle only single point, so this line is known as a tangent. A line perpendicular to the tangent, so this line is also known as a normal. Normal. Okay. Now, this line is intersecting two points, so this line is known as a secant. Chord is a line segment only. Chord is a line segment. Okay. Now, uh, if any inside point, so no any tangent, number of tangent is 0. If any point on the circle, lying on the circle, number of tangent is 1. If a point outside, external point, so you can draw maximum 2 tangents. In circle total, how many maximum tangent we can draw? Write down in the comment section. Write down in the comment section. In circle, total how many number of, maximum number of tangent we can draw. Okay. I am not uh, asked about parallel tangents. No. Total how many maximum number of tangent we can draw. Okay. Now next chapter. Areas related to circle. See. In areas related to circle. See. This is your circle. Center to the any point on the circle known as a radius R. What is the area of the circle? It's a simple pi r square. What is the circumference of the circle? It's a 2 pi r. Now, what about this sector? Sector, which make here angle as a theta. Okay. And now this blue part is known as your minor sector. And remaining part known as your, which is a major sector. So, what is the area of this minor sector? Theta by 360 degree into area of circle pi r square. And now length of arc is equal to theta by 360 into 2 pi r. So 2 cancel. So it's a pi r theta by 180. Also we can say. Remember this carefully. And now perimeter of the sector. This radius plus this radius plus pi r theta by 180. It's a length of arc. Getting or not? Yes. Now for the minor segment. Minor segment. How can you find with the help of you have to first find out minor sector area minus triangle OAB area. So you can find out this blue part region of minor segment. Getting? Yes or no? Yes. Now very important thing about semicircle. The area of semicircle is a, just a half of the circle. But in case of perimeter is not just the half of the circle. It's not pi r. No, you are wrong. It's a pi r plus 2 r. Plus 2 r. So, be careful in exam. Take r as a common. So, your answer for the perimeter of the semicircle is r in bracket 2 plus pi. Remember this formula carefully, dear students. Now, chapter 12. Surface area and volume. It's a very easy and interesting. Okay. For the cube, volume of the cube, side the volume of the cube is just side cube. Take a side as a A only. Okay. Now next one is the curved surface area. Is a You have to neglect top and bottom. So 4 into side square. Okay. Now total surface area is a 6 into side square. Now similar for cuboid. Suppose take a length, breadth and height LBH. So volume is LBH. is a 3 dimension and these two are 2 dimension. So, be careful about units in exam also. So, now here, 
टू एच इन ब्रैकेट एल प्लस बी एंड हियर टू एल बी प्लस बी एच प्लस एल एच ओके हियर यू हैव टू रिग्लेक्ट योर टॉप एंड बॉटम ओनली ओके नाउ फॉर द स्फीयर वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्फीयर इज अ फोर बाय थ्री पाई आर क्यूब फॉर द कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया एंड टोटल सर्फेस एरिया बोथ आर द सेम फॉर द स्फीयर फोर पाई आर स्क्वेर एंड फोर पाई आर स्क्वेर ओनली बिकॉज अ सॉलिड हेमी स्फीयर टू बाय थ्री इट्स जस्ट हाफ ऑफ स्फीयर and curved surface area is a 2 pi r square but in case of total surface area downside you have to also consider is a 3 pi r square so remember this change and this change also uh now right circular cylinder okay in right circular cylinder volume is a just pi r square h now what is the 2 pi r h and if your top and bottom side fill closed so you can also write down 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square now this one is a very important right circular hollow cylinder okay we will discuss about this but before that cone is just one third of pi r square h and uh, is a pi r l and this total surface area with pi r square now right circular cylinder it's a like a hollow cylinder okay like this see so here for the right circular cylinder volume is pi r1 square minus r2 square h okay r1 square minus r2 because this is small is uh, r2 and this bigger one is your r1 but curved surface area is a 2 pi r1 h plus 2 pi r2 h you should add okay and here for total surface area 2 pi r1 plus r2 h and also you have to consider now for the circle it's just 2 pi r1 square minus r2 square now remember and take common as a 2 pi oh this is in multiplication huh? sorry So now take a two pi as a common. So in bracket h r one plus r two plus r one square minus r two square. So final answer two pi. Take r one r two as a common. So now in bracket h plus r one minus r two. This is the final formula for total surface area. I hope you will understand. Now, chapter number thirteen, statistics. Okay, most IMP relationship between mean, median, mod z is equals to three m minus two x bar. Without forget, remember this formula. Without forget, remember this formula. Now, mean equals to x bar by the help of direct method. X bar is equals to sigma f i x i upon sigma f i x i upon sigma f i. And assumed mean method x bar is equals to assumed mean your a is equals to sigma f i d i upon sigma f i, where d i equals to what? D i is equals to x i minus a. And now step deviation method is a just upgrade version of the assumed mean a plus sigma f i u i upon sigma f i into h, where u i is equals to d i upon h it means x i minus a upon h h is a class length okay now what about mod mod z is equals to lower limit of your model class l f1 minus f0 f1 is the frequency of your model class f0 is the preceding frequency of the model class and the f in denominator 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 f2 is the succeeding frequency of your model class F two into h. Okay, remember this. Remember this. This simplify, then multiply, and then add. Okay, just a moment. Z. Okay, and last but not least, median m is equals to l plus n by two minus c f upon f into h. Where l is the lower limit of your median class n by two total number of frequency divided by two c f is your cumulative frequency of the preceding median class okay and f is the frequency of your median class s is the class length 
that's all and now chapter number 14 probability in probability in probability theoretical probability is equal to number of favorable outcome upon total number of outcome each and every case and now for the impossible event probability is zero now sure and true events probability is one p of e event and that complementary event probability always sum equals to one and your probability of any event is zero less than or equals to the probability of any events is less than or equals to sorry zero greater than oh zero less than or equals to probability of any event which is also less than or equals to one it means your probability of any event is equals to zero and more than zero equals to one but less than one that's all so dear students this is all about your formula okay i hope you are getting very well so now you will achieve your target this old formula of mathematics okay let's see we will meet in the next session thank you so much